Hello and welcome to an original you Try This production. Today I thought I'd just share this program called PSP Constructor. It's basically a PSP game maker that you can use to make homebrew PSP games. It's probably one of the easiest ways for beginners to learn how to make PSP games. So yeah, it was made by C Barracks. C B A R O X. And it's relatively similar to Game Maker by Yo Yo Games or you may be familiar with it. And so you can make PSP homebrew games and you can play them if you have custom firmware. I don't have a tutorial on how to get custom firmware, so you can get it from someone else. So what we have here, let's create a sprite. A sprite, if you don't know, is just an image. You can load it. And the sprite can then turn into a player object or an object in the game. So. Let's use our player. Load a player. This is him. He has two eyes. It has a little customization option so far. Set center. I'll definitely be getting this in the future when it adds more features onto it. I can make a PSP game. And then, now that he's a sprite, we can create him into an object that can actually interact in the game. So we'll give him the sprite for the player. And now we have, first thing, we have only three event tabs so far. We actually only have three action tabs so far. Not many events, but they're still good. And so we have add events here. We have input. So in the input, what it means is you press a button. So analog buttons. So when you move the analog stick up, down, left, or right. Buttons, when you press a button, you choose shoulder pad. Pad, D-pad, control. When you hold the button or when you release the button or let go of it. So collision with other objects. So you have like a wall or something around the lines of that. So let's say I want to press the left button. Or press the X button. I want the X button to do something. So, oh, by the way, a do event. A do event is an event the player does when he's created. So when the player is created, he automatically does an event. So I'll leave that blank for now. So let's say when I press the cross button, or the X button in this case, I would want my player to have a, they have a few events so far. Eventually they'll add more. I want my player to, let's say, start playing a song. So I just click on this. I don't add any music, so forget that. Let's say I want a player to just jump, I guess. Set his vertical speed to like negative five. Negative would enable him to jump, I guess. So it would play a background song, but I don't have any song. And it would set the vertical speed to negative five, which would let him jump in the air. Or in this case, the vertical speed to negative five. Since there isn't any gravity, he wouldn't jump. He'd just move up. So we move up. And so I would create that in a world. So I go resources, add a world. I put the player in it. Uh, you can't see him really. No, that didn't help at all. No, that still didn't help at all. Whatever. But you can change the height of the grids. I can add him into the game. I can add multiple ones of him in the game. And so it's a wide variety of features that are probably going to be input into this. The next update is probably going to have a lot because it's been a sort of hiatus since the last update. So I'm sure the next update is going to have a lot of features into it. And then I'll start offering my um, PSP constructor tutorials on how to use it. So this is just a brief walkthrough of it, similar to Yo-Yo Games' Game Maker. It's pretty cool. So um, this has been an original of you try this production. Don't forget to subscribe, since I'll be offering my PSP Constructor tutorials.